This is one of the simplest known systems capable of reproducing itself. These structures exist as dynamic patterns of states within a simple two-dimensional computer universe known as a cellular automaton. In such a universe, each colored square changes its state as a function of its own color and the colors of the squares in its immediate neighborhood. These simple local rules for state changes are the only rules driving the behavior of the system. They constitute a kind of artificial chemistry upon which the behavior of the larger configurations of colored squares are based. There are no rules in the system dictating the behavior of large collections of squares. Only the behavior of the individual squares is encoded in rules. Everything else emerges on the shoulders of this simple local chemistry, just as it does in the natural world. Let's see how it works. A single white signal propagating down a data path extends the data path by one square. Two consecutive white signals extend the data path by two squares. Two consecutive green signals construct a left-hand corner at the end of the data path. Two consecutive white signals will round this corner and extend the data path in the new direction. Signals continuously cycling around a data path which closes back on itself form a kind of memory in the form of a storage ring. Copies of the cycling signals propagate down the data path tail, continually extending it. Putting these all together, a sequence of six white signals and two green signals cycling around a storage loop repeatedly extend and bend the construction arm until it closes back on itself, forming a new offspring loop. The resulting collision of signals produces new signals, which disconnect the parent and offspring loops and initiate the building of new construction arms. After 151 time steps, the initial loop has produced an identical offspring. Each of these loops goes on to produce further offspring, as shown here. These loops continue to reproduce themselves as long as there is space to construct an offspring. When a loop encounters another loop in a potential offspring construction site, it withdraws its construction arm and erases the cycling signals, becoming an empty or dead loop. The square in the loop in the middle of the bottom row is becoming a dead loop. This process continues, producing a growing colony of loops consisting of a reproduction fringe surrounding an ever-expanding core of dead loops, much in the manner of a coral reef or the two-dimensional cross-section of the growth of a tree. Here is the whole process running at full speed on a connection machine CM2.